grande pumpkin spice latte ice and then can I have vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top of that can I have a grande apple crisp oatmeal shake and espresso the baked apple croissants how this windshield is cracked so it's like leaving a glare on the camera so the setup looks like this it's really professional mm. <laughs> oh yes thank you Totally got it off of Pinterest. <laughs> Same. I feel like me and her could be best friends. I see her in there like every single time I get Starbucks and I just wanna be like, hey, can we, can we hang out? But I think that would be weird. Welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before. I am so excited for this video. Finally time for oversized sweaters, Ugg slippers, pumpkin spice lattes, baking, Gilmore girls, fall fashion, fall nails. Me and fall have not had the greatest past, you know, because of the whole like seasonal depression thing. But I'm very excited for fall this year. It is August 31st and my entire apartment is already decked out in fall stuff. And of course I had to film a fall glow up video because these are literally my favorite videos to film. And I have been in a little bit of a rut lately. My period it's like about to end so these last two weeks have just been like rough for me mentally and I don't know I've just been in like a funk I haven't had like motivation to do anything I just need like a little pick-me-up you know you know the drill teeth whitening dye our brows and our lashes a facial with lots of skincare hair care and everything shower nails makeup outfit all of it I actually filmed some of this video yesterday and I went shopping for fall stuff and I actually got like a lot but I wanted a fall outfit for the end of this video so you guys are gonna see that hi can i have a grande pumpkin spice latte iced can i have a vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top of it always 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 get vanilla sweet cream cold foam on the top of iced pumpkin spice lattes it's way better than Look at this guy freaking out! You're going so fast for no reason. Do you think I'm just gonna run into the car in front of us? Uh, you didn't. This has been my going... life since I've started driving with him in the car. He's a long time. With me in the car? You've always been with me in the car. I don't know. Yeah, Thank you so much. Can I have two straws as well, please? Yay, thank you. I'm going shopping right now. We're going to go Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, Free People. I'm gonna be looking for like more Gilmore sweater aesthetic type of style, if you get what I mean. I'm filming a fall fashion video. You guys will see that very, very soon. Fingers crossed that we can actually find stuff. It's literally August 30th when I'm filming this and they're just starting now to put like fall stuff out so they can find some stuff. So let's go shop till we drop. Pumpkin spice latte. You want some? We did a lot of damage. Starting out with brandy milk. 
I need more accessories and I wanted like fall accessories so I got a little hat, crossbody purse, these are my favorite socks, headband, another headband, I feel like this is such an iconic Brandy Melville sweater, cream colored vest, also got the vest in gray, you guys are gonna notice that I get a lot of the same things just in different colors from Brandy Melville because honestly that is just an entire store of basics. When I find a basic I like I'm gonna get it in every color because I know I will wear it to death for the next like five to ten years of my life. Olive green like waffle material shirt, brown t-shirt, white oversized t-shirt, black oversized t-shirt, gray cream oversized t-shirt. I've noticed recently that my closet is full of just crop tops. I just like haven't been wanting to wear that and whenever it comes to fall time I don't have normal like length shirts so that's why there's a lot of those. This black mini skirt has some trim on it with a little bow. I thought these would be so adorable with black tights underneath. This long sleeve shirt has a little bit of a pattern and a navy blue knit sweater. Um, Urban Outfitters, every single time I go in there, everything is ugly. Okay, Urban Outfitters home decor, yes, amazing, love them. My entire apartment is literally just that and some Ikea pieces. I didn't really find that much, but when we were walking upstairs, I saw a mannequin that had this dress on and I was like, I want that. And I didn't see them downstairs and it was in my side. So I asked for it. It is green with orange stripes. I thought this would be really, really cute for fall. They had these really cute socks online and they actually had them in store. They're just like the little frilly socks, but they have little bows in the back. And these were some little Mary Janes. And I got them in white and of course I had to get the pink ones. And we really did, I think, the most damage at Free People. I got this rust colored long sleeve. Like I said before we went shopping, I'm very much looking into like the knits sweaters, the Gilmore Girls aesthetic and stuff, and I saw this one and I definitely needed it. It is perfect. I also got another one of those shirts in light blue, long sleeve, oversized, white shirt. I saw these, they just like screamed Gilmore Girls. Green flare pants and their corduroys. This was our biggest purchase at Free People. A very oversized jacket. I got this blue bag. I got these, these. I shopped uh, quite a bit at Sephora. Right now, I'm going to take a quick rinse, and then tonight is going to be the self-care portion of this video. I didn't do like a crazy in-depth shower, I just kinda like, you know, cleaned off. Tomorrow, when I wash my hair, is going to be more of like an everything type of shower. After that, I went and made breakfast for dinner. I don't know why having breakfast for dinner hits so much more, but it was the best thing ever. But now, as for my favorite part of these videos, and it's time for self-care. Skin is not looking too bad right now. Do you have this pimple that showed up this morning on my nose? It's just like an inflamed pore. I actually filmed part of my series of recreating a Vogue Beauty Secrets video and I had like a lot of makeup on and it gave me a pimple on my nose. We're gonna be doing a lot of skincare. I went in with my daily face wash, but then I also went in with the microfoliant by Dermalogica because my nose, my chin right here were like a little rough and I like to do a gentle exfoliant before I'm gonna be putting like products on that I really want my skin to soak up. First, I'm gonna start off by going in with face masks. These are my favorite by Dr. Jart and this is the hyaluronic acid one. So I'm gonna wet my face first. I always accidentally poke holes in these with my nails. Probably going to leave this on for like 20 minutes. I feel like I'm in a spa. I'm steaming my face just a little bit to get everything opened up. I am going to be using my gua sha. I always clean my gua sha with antibacterial soap before I use it just to really make sure. So I'm gonna be taking a few drops. Ren Everclom Barrier Support Elixir. I take like five or six drops. I just really wanna make sure that I have enough slip on my skin for our gua sha. And this is also just an amazing product. I'm going to first start out by opening up our lymph nodes. So right here, I'm gonna tap it 10 times. And then taking my gua sha, and swiping and bringing it down, and I'm gonna be doing this 10 times. I get red easily, I'm not doing it that hard. Pressing right here, 10, then just bringing it up. Kind of wiggling it, doing that 10 times. I don't know how I lose count every single time I do this. Pressing right here, going like in a circle. 
So we're gonna be going in with this little part and putting it right here and going straight up 10 times. I love how red my face gets when I do this. I'm done with my gua sha, but I am actually going in with another skin tool that I actually just recently got and I'm kind of testing it out because I bought it for a Vogue video. It was kind of like really, really expensive. I'm actually very interested in tools like this to see if they actually work. First, I'm wiping it down just with an alcohol wipe. I know it's like very clean. But this is the Shawnee Darden Facial Sculpting Wand Smooth Firm Tone. One transmits acoustic sound waves up to six centimeters below the skin surface providing deep muscle stimulation that can't be achieved through manual massage. This action targets crow's feet, eyebrow frowns, and nasolabial line in their origin under the skin surface rather than on the superficial level. These vibrations also have a circulation stimulating effect improving the skin's oxygen uptake and counteract premature skin aging skin appears firmer, more contoured, and radiant. That's beautiful. Do I look sculpted? Um, mm. I'm actually gonna rinse my face off. Not like really get all the product off, just a little bit. Face is like drowning in product. When I went to Catalina and my nose ring fell out and I didn't notice that I didn't have it in my nose. My nose healed, like it didn't hurt or anything, but whenever I take the nose ring out, it closes up instantly. No matter like what metal I use, it just like never stayed. But weirdly, I've kind of like liked the way I've looked without it. Now I'm nose ringless. Skin is finished. I'm gonna be doing a few things to my hair and I'm gonna be trying the Kerastase scalp. Serum. This looks like it would be like for medicine. Okay, I'm kind of just gonna start this stuff goes everywhere. Just kind of rubbing it in, make sure it's everywhere. And this isn't like a thing where you have to wash it out the next morning. This is just coincidentally like I'm washing my hair tomorrow morning. It dries down and shouldn't feel oily. I'm now going to be taking Gula Beauty's hair gloss and I am going to be leaving this in my mids and ends overnight. Same thing with hair oil is you don't want to leave it on your scalp overnight because after four hours it's pretty much just clogging your scalp and can lead to hair loss. So this hair gloss is different than all the hair glosses that I've used. I use like the professional Redken. EQ one, I just go in with the clear one, or I use the Kerastase one that you just leave in for two minutes after you shampoo. But this one is like a hair oil. It's very, very nourishing and moisturizing. After you wash it out, my hair is going to be so shiny and healthy tomorrow. And I am just going to throw my hair in a very, very loose Dutch braid. I would go in with a normal braid, but since I have curtain bangs and layers, it's just better if I go in with a Dutch braid. But I always just make sure it's super loose. not on like my shirt in the back of my neck. I'm gonna fold it in itself, claw clipping that into place. So now it's up and out of the way. I almost forgot to put deodorant on. I am now gonna go give myself a pedicure and then after that I will be going to bed. Obviously, it's the next day now. My iced pumpkin spice latte. The girlies that like this, and if you've never tried it, you need to get vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top of it, not whipped cream. It just makes it a million times better. This is like my go-to fall drink. I don't remember if it was last year or the year before, but they totally took away the salted caramel mochas, and those were like my go-to and I just didn't know what to do with myself anymore so I've kind of had to adapt to getting the pumpkin spice latte like the last two years I also got a new drink I got the apple crisp oat milk one I don't really know if I'm gonna like this if I'm being completely honest okay we're gonna sip it first that tastes like I just ate like an apple scented Febreze plug-in it tastes like chemicals that doesn't taste good, but uh, I don't want to waste it. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up and drink it through the straw because sometimes the bottom is different. I get a little bit more coffee. It's not the worst thing ever, but I don't know why I don't think like 
apple and coffee should be mixed together in like one drink. The more I'm like sipping it, the nicer it's getting, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna order it again. And then I'm so sad they didn't have my pumpkin cream cheese muffin, my favorite little pastry that I get during this time. But they did just come out with this apple croissant. It was pretty good, but it's like okay. I honestly got it for the video. The apples kind of taste like the apples in like a McDonald's apple pie, like kind of like fake apple-y, like the gelatin-y apple -y, not like actual like apple pie. Still okay though. Of course, we got the Uggs on. It's like 76 degrees right now, so it's definitely not cold at all, but I will wear my Uggs. I am going to blast the air conditioning in my apartment to make it feel like fall, and that's that. I have to dye my eyebrows and eyelashes. I dyed my eyebrows not that long ago. My eyebrows fade so, so quickly, and I think it's because of all the skincare I use. The lashes, I go in real black, and I just do equal parts of the dye and the developer. And then for my brows, I go in with light brown. So I don't really want my eyebrows to be that dark. I do like doing this because it kind of gives my eyebrows a better shape because a lot of my hairs are very blonde like up in here. I'm first gonna do my eyelashes. Oh, okay. That would have been so freaking bad. I forgot to put Vaseline on my eyelids because this stuff, like if it touches your skin for a second, dyes it instantly. I kind of just wiggle it on my end because my eyelashes aren't blonde, but at like the midpoint of my lash, it starts to fade into blonde. So like you can't really see how long my actual eyelashes are. I don't really like to wear mascara. And this makes it so you can like actually see the real length of your lashes. If you tried this, uh, please be careful because you're actually not supposed to put this near your eyes at all because you can go blind. I like to live on the edge. I take an angled brush and I just kind of put it everywhere on them and make sure it's like a perfect shape. It kind of can dye your skin underneath so then you don't really have to go in with eyebrow pencil that much and you can just like go in with eyebrow gel and call it a day. I take a q-tip and clean the surrounding areas very quickly after putting it on. After you start to see it actually show the color on the brow I do like to take off the little front pieces so it fades well because that part I don't want it to be super like dark. I let that sit for like five to ten minutes. I ran out of my micellar water, so I'm just gonna be taking my jojoba face oil on a cotton round. First, taking out the eyelashes. And I just use the same cotton pads to wipe the eyebrows off. I have not let anybody touch my eyebrows. Probably since I was like 13 or something when I got them waxed horribly. After that, I just did them myself because I didn't trust anybody. I think it was like two years ago now. I just stopped plucking my eyebrows altogether. I used to have them a lot thinner. And then I just really liked the natural look. Last time I dyed them, I did tweeze like two or three hairs that were out of place. And literally tweezing like just a couple right here can and make my face look so much more lifted because my eyebrows go down a lot so they make my face look like they're drooping. Best way I find to do eyebrows, take a flat brush with concealer, line the shape of your eyebrows that you want, and then I just pluck the hairs that aren't within the line. And I only use the tweezer man tweezers. Always makes my eyes water. I'm stopping here. You always want to stop before you think you're done with eyebrows. I do still have a hair oil gloss in my mids and ends, but I need to apply some hair oil to my scalp. I'm not doing a whole lot with the hair oil on my scalp. I'm just going in with the Fable and Main pre-wash oil and just putting that on my roots. And then I'm only going to leave that on for like 10-ish minutes. And then I'm going to hop in the shower and do an everything shower. I actually just uploaded an updated hair care routine that explains everything I do to my hair. So if you would like to see that I'm gonna leave it in the description but I start out by shampooing my hair twice rinsing that out and then I am going in with a hair gloss treatment I do this about once a month and it just helps keep my hair super shiny it helps so much with frizz I just apply that to my mids and ends and I'm gonna let that sit in my hair for two minutes and then I thoroughly thoroughly rinse that out going in with conditioner on my mids and ends and leaving that in for three minutes rinsing that out now exfoliating my body with a scrub and then shaving everywhere and then last I go in and wash my body I 
finally finished my hair. I think the makeup look we're gonna go for latte makeup, which is pretty much like a new name for just a bronzy, maybe like a light brown smoky guy. I feel like it's very fall. This makeup look is bronzy matte, but like also glowy. Like it just like looks very like hydrated natural skin, but it's more of a matte look i don't know you guys will see first i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury magic serum to prime and give ourselves a little bit of a glow now i'm going to take a few of the bronzing drops from drunk elephant just adds a little bit of a glow and makes us look a little bit tanner it looks a little crazy at first but when you add everything else then it like makes the base look a lot better i'm gonna go in with just a teeny bit of foundation just to add a little bit of coverage on some hyperpigmentation i have I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in like a million years. And I feel like I need to give you guys a life update. There's been like a whole lot of nothing going on, but also a lot. Uh, for one, we freaking hit 500K. Thank you guys so, so much. Yeah, I didn't even know that I hit 500K. I got a text from my little brother and he was like, you hit 500K. And I was like, thank you guys so freaking much. I can't believe we're at 500K. I can't even imagine that many people and it's kind of scary and it kind of freaks me out sometimes, but in a good way. For usual, when I'm not like posting that much on the internet, uh, I have been going through it mentally. Shocker, who would have thought? I finally made a doctor's appointment, but there's just a bunch of stuff going on. I am I am about 99% sure and have been 99% sure since high school that I have PMDD. Pretty much the dumbed down definition is your period makes you more depressed than it should. My period affects my life way too damn much. You guys probably know that because I talk about it all the time. The week before my period is literally the worst thing ever. I am so irritable, so grumpy. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to get anything done. I'm not passionate about anything. Only negative thoughts. Then my period hits and obviously I am I'm literally in like physical pain and I have always had like an extremely bad period. My mom is convinced I have endometriosis and I am too. I just have a fear of the doctors. So I haven't gone since I was 17 and I'm 22 now. The week after my period, I'm like trying to like scoop myself out of the hole that I dug myself into. And I have like a few days of freedom where I'm like setting all my goals for the month. I'm like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna hang out with all these people. I'm gonna have the best time ever and I'm so happy. And then boom, it's the week before my period again. <sighs> And I know it's normal, but to a certain extent, it controls my life way too much. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the doctor and get checked out for that and many other things. I literally have like an entire page to tell the doctor. So that's recently what's been in the works for me. Going in with the milk bronzer stick. And so yeah, I've just been like mentally in a rut. And if you're new here, I have so many new viewers and I think they're from shorts, but I mentioned my anxiety, I think in the Catalina video, the hate that I got got like in my DMs, a few comments on there of people like coming at me. If I hear another privileged influencer talk about having anxiety, you guys must be new. I know those people don't know who I am. Even if they did, they could still have that opinion, whatever, good for them. If you don't know who I am, hey, I am Kaylee and I do talk about anxiety and mental health quite a bit because I do think it's important. I have had anxiety since my beginning memories when I was five years old. I had to get taken out of daycare, taken out of preschool, all of it because my stomach hurt. But then my stomach stopped hurting instantly when I got home and it was just anxiety. And I am diagnosed with a shit ton of anxiety disorders and panic disorder and depression. And therapists have told me to go and get evaluated for ADHD that I have not done because again, fear of doctors. Just if you're new watching this video, please don't get the wrong idea. It literally infuriates me when people think it's like trendy and put on having anxiety and to be like quirky and cute because trust me, it's not quirky and cute. It's been very dark a lot of times, but long story short, the reason I do talk about mental health and how I'm doing is for those people that feel alone in it. And if you don't know, it all stems around the fear of throw up, which is called emetophobia. That is like what all of my anxiety stems from. And I had no idea that that was even a thing until I saw people online talking about it, telling me like that they have it too. If I knew that other people had it, I would have felt less alone. So if you don't want to hear about my mental health, then you probably just shouldn't watch my channel. I realized I haven't really talked about my anxiety or my like mental health a while in videos. So I think I've just like gained a bunch of more 
followers. So then if I mention in a video, people are just gonna lump me in with people that like talk about mental health to get views or something. I don't, I don't know. People that hate on people that talk about mental health are very strange to me. I just wanted to get that out there for the new people. <laughs> okay, we're gonna blend this stuff out. One really positive thing that has been going on though, I mean, you guys saw in the beginning of this video is me driving. Who would have thought the people that have been watching me for so long, you guys know my fear of driving issues. I am 22 years old and I still don't have my license. I've gone through two permits and I'm just absolutely terrified of driving. Everyone in my freaking life since I was like 15 and a half was like, oh my gosh, you need to start driving. You need to start driving, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I'm the type of person when someone tells me to do something, I don't want to do it. Also, I wasn't ready to drive, like at all terrifying. You're moving a big metal contraption that you can kill yourself with and you can kill other people. I don't know how everybody doesn't find that absolutely terrifying. Pretty valid reason to be scared of driving. Maybe that's just me. And I kept telling everyone, I'm like, I'm going to drive when I want to drive. Like my boyfriend's family was like always telling me like, oh my gosh, you need to start driving. And I told them like, if you guys keep doing this to me, I'm just not gonna want to drive. Because then I'm doing it for you and not for myself. About a month ago, me and Tyler were in the car and I don't know what came over me, but we were just driving around and I told him like, Tyler, I wanna drive, I wanna get my license. And I have a permit right now, so I was like, I'm gonna do it. I can't tell you what sparked it, I don't know, I have no idea. There are a lot of reasons why I want to drive. One of the things that is actually motivating me is I want to be able to vlog like out in public. I tried to do that in a glow up video in the past and I had to like Uber places, but then like you don't have like a safe place. You don't have like a car to go to. That's been one of my biggest motivators because I wanna film more videos like that. And like I wanna go grocery shopping by myself and I wanna go to the mall by myself and go shopping. And obviously it's important to be independent and do those things. So I've driven every single day since that day and I have my license test scheduled for October. Don't worry, I'm filming an entire video on my progress and stuff of me driving. That's been like the major thing recently, but I'm gonna be honest, nothing really else has happened. I've kind of been like a little hermit crab. I haven't really hung out with any friends. I probably should text my friends. They're probably like, ugh, Kaylee's going through it again and you know, she's just fallen off the face of the earth like she always does. In like the last month, I watched all of Vampire Diaries. I started watching the originals. I am almost finished with Gilmore Girls. You know, I, Gilmore Girls is literally one of my favorite shows on the face of the planet. I could film an entire hour long podcast, if not multiple, on just talking about Gilmore Girls. And I don't know how I've never mentioned it on my YouTube channel before. There's so many reasons why I love Gilmore Girls. For one, it really resonates with me because my mom was pregnant with me at 16. She's the Lorelai to my Rory. And my mom loves that show. Anyways, I should literally do a YouTube video just talking about Gilmore Girls. I forgot to put teeth whining strips in. Uh, my teeth have gotten stained so much recently because I've low-key been drinking uh, Starbucks every single day. Um, okay, before concealer, I am actually gonna do my eyebrows already because I don't like doing my eyebrows last. And I'm just gonna feather in a little bit, but they don't really need that much. This summer felt really weird to me. I don't know why. I low-key felt like I had seasonal depression this summer, and that has never happened to me before. Usually I'm like ecstatic about summer. I wanna go to the beach, I wanna go to the pool, I wanna get tan, I wanna wear cute summer outfits. I just wanted like summer to end, and I don't know why. That's never happened in my entire life, but I have never been so excited for fall. Everything, especially like fall outfits, cozy blankets, watching movies and making home cooked like meals, like meatloaf and mashed potatoes. That just sounds amazing to me. I'm always so excited for fall that I literally start celebrating fall almost at the end of August. By the time we get to October and Halloween time, I'm already over it. I'm like, okay, I want it to be Christmas time. But then by the time Christmas time happens, I'm just like, oh, I just, I want it to be all over. I don't know. It's like, I'm never happy with the time that I'm at. I really need to practice living in the present. I don't know how people live in the present. I am very bad at that. I love when my eyebrows are dyed. It's just like, it's so much easier to do them. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and just set them into place now. Taking some concealer. It's a little bit lighter than my skin and I'm just gonna be kind of shaping my face out a little bit, adding a little bit more dimension. 
then before blending that out, going in with Rare Beauty's eye brightener and adding a little dot of that under my eyes. A spray, what it do, makeup refreshing spray by Fenty Beauty before I go in and blend that out with my beauty blender. Making sure there's no creases, setting all of that into place. I'm gonna kind of leave my high points and stuff out because I do want to kind of be a little bit dewy still. So no filters or anything. We are looking good. Our skin is doing so well because of all the skincare and like facial stuff we did yesterday. Now taking the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Just gonna add a little bit more to warm the look up a little bit. Taking the Kat Von D palette and going in with the cooler shade and just putting this in like the very hollows of my cheek to just make it look more like a natural shadows right there. But I think we're gonna get into eyes now. Taking the Makeup by Mario matte palette. I think I'm just gonna mess around with a few of these shades, popping them in my crease, nothing fancy. I'm really gonna take those same exact colors and just put them underneath my lash line and smoke that out. I'm like a nervous to add blush. No, don't freaking blend out. I had a feeling you always trust your gut. Oh. Okay, wait, that kind of fixed it. I'm gonna sharpen this up just a little bit with some translucent powder. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I Look at that, that is no mascara. Camera just died, but I added the Refi Topaz Gloss Highlighter. That added such a perfect look. Okay, my freck is too freaking dark. So the hack that I do is I take Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand and I put it on the back of my hand. You can take like a bobby pin or anything, but I just take my eyebrow pencil and I cannot make freckles with eyebrow pencils. I don't have one that's like soft enough. I do it and then I have big red spots all over me because it's like too difficult. I take the bronzer and I just use the bronzer as freckles. And honestly, it works pretty good because it's super faint, but it's still there. I'll wipe just the rest of that bake off that I had under my cheeks. I have this RMS Beauty Go Nude Lip Pencil Sunset Nude. And I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Hello Talk Lipstick and kind of just dab that on there. I literally want it to be brighter in the middle, so I took like a, the teeniest bit of Rare Beauty Eye Brightener and put it in the middle and just dabbed it. I don't really know if I want to add a gloss. I feel like it's not the vibe. Now for the most satisfying part, taking out our hair. Gorgeous. I actually have two outfits. I can't really make up my mind on which one I want. I have one that's like casual and then one that's more put together. There's two ways that I can go with the shoes. I have these boots. Oh, so this is cute, but I also have these cute little docks that I can wear with the cute little socks with the bows that I got. I think this is the winning outfit. I'm throwing another outfit in here and this is more of a casual one. This is what I'm going to wear most of fall and it's just like baggy or straight jeans with an oversized sweater and my Ugg slippers. And to spice it up, you know, I could add a headband, I could add a collared shirt under a sweater, all that fun stuff. But I feel like this outfit was a little bit better to end like a glow up video. I am so excited for fall. This is the finished makeup. I absolutely love this. This is gonna be like my go-to fall makeup look. Hair is shiny and soft from the gloss treatments we did. Teeth are white, but there's only one thing that can make this better. It's by making cookies. We have to make the iconic Pillsbury Halloween sugar cookies, but of course they were out of the pumpkin ones. They're always out of those. This happened last year too. I wanted to get these and they were out, but I like to make like a little concoction and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. There's something about these pillows very cookies that just taste so nostalgic. I love cookie dough. I'll take a chocolate chip cookie. And I'm gonna put two together because these are kind of small. And I smash it. I put one of the Halloween cookies in the middle of it. And then I pop those in the oven and now we wait. Very unrelated, but this is my new favorite drink. It's pineapple and apple sparkling juice beverage, but they're from Trader Joe's and I've been drinking these nonstop and it's been helping me like not drink as much soda. I can't get over how good like this look turned out. It sucks though, because after I'm done filming this, I'm literally gonna go wash my face and go to bed. <laughs> 
If you've never tried this, please try this. I'm gonna go get in comfy clothes, probably watch Halloween Town or Hocus Pocus, and go to bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Turn on that little bell while you're at it down there. Why not? Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. Or like bricks and scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me